I'm really enjoying it and I'm kind of kind of grateful to be out of the present. Um, hi, everybody. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Oh, okay. oh, I love these backgrounds, these coordinated oh, backgrounds. We're on fire, guys. Right? <laughs> so on theme. Um, congratulations on this show. I know for you, Kiara, you've, you're kind of been doing a lot of these projects where you're set in these, you know, tense drama, thriller things, but set in periods, different periods, 70s, <laughs> 80s, 90s. Yeah. Is that something you just find yourself drawn I to? Or I, is it I just how my reps? You can only it's cite right? for period thriller. No, You're like, I don't want to live uh, in the 2020s. No way. Let's go back. No. I mean, it, find, it finds me and I find it. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the horror genre. I love thriller. I'm so grateful for everything that I've worked on. And I think the time periods are nice. Maybe there's something that I don't relate to as much about 2024. Um, so, you know, I've definitely been placed into that. But uh, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm kind of kind of grateful to be out of the present. I think sometimes watching stuff today, where everyone's on their phone and they're incorporating TikTok, it's it's it, it's not as uh, I don't know, it's not as nostalgic and enjoyable to watch sometimes for me. So maybe that's part of it. But who knows? For each of you, though, being in this time period, which is like you know when I was born and grew up, so automatically it hit me in the in the nostalgic feels. Um, what helps you get into character when you are in these time periods? Is it the moment you like put on the outfit? Is it the moment you get a certain hairstyle? What helps you? Is it listening to a song? Well, I mean, right when you get to set, it's like you're transported into a different like you know time period, like down to. Because I said earlier, like even like the juice boxes will say 1989 on them. Like you just the most like small detail in the whole set is just 1989. So it's just all like extremely impressive, and it just it's very easy to you know to, to jump right into it. Feel transported. Yeah, it's the, our crew made it so easy for us to just like you know you walk in it's 2023 and you walk out or you go on to set it's 1989. It, it's such a seamless transition like you'll see it immediately it's, it's almost like putting a filter on a camera like you'll see it as soon as you get on set when this the show first started the first thing you hear right off the bat or see is that old universal logo and then you hear heaven is a place on earth and immediately like i said i was like transported to a certain time period like i could just feel myself go back there for each of you do you have a song or something like that when you hear it it, it's like a comfort. It takes you back to either when you were younger or a moment that you just loved. Uh, I like Mr. Crowley a lot. It reminds me of when I was filming Hysteria, actually. I definitely have a couple like connective Hysteria songs like For Whom the Bell Tolls, Metallica, and like, uh, you know, Crazy Train, Talking Heads, Psycho Killer. Um, there's a couple things there. But if I were to say like Transported Back to Childhood... It's maybe uh, like You Are My Sunshine, Johnny Cash. My mom used to play that for me when I was a kid. Uh, for me, it literally was just uh, Don't Stop Believing from Journey. Like I, that song, that song does it for me. I don't know why. It just immediately, as soon as I hear it, I'm like, this is this is what music is supposed to be. I love it. Um, this is a show, obviously, there's a lot of twists, turns, things you can't really speak about. So if you could just tell me, in your own opinion, if there's an episode that you think people should really pay attention to, what is that episode for each of you? I'm going to say episodes one through eight. Oh, all of them. Okay. <laughs> Great answer. Great, Great answer. answer. Great answer. Um, I'm going to say that there's a, there's a little twist in in three that I really enjoy. Okay. I am going to say I want to say one through eight like MJ, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna flip the program here. I'm gonna say the last episode of the first season is a really good episode. You gotta make it there. That's that's the hint of what because right? I said if you can't watch episode eight unless you watch so, the first so, so you know episode. what's happening. You know, like it's, it's so smart. I stopped on season or episode three. That's the one I'm in the middle of right now. So <laughs> Now I'm like, now I got to finish watching oh, it because what you just to. said, <laughs> right? Um, so last thing, if you could just pitch this show to people who might not know what it's about, because it is kind of a crazy little premise that really piques the interest. How would you pitch this to somebody if you were in an elevator stuck with them being like, hey, watch my show? <laughs> Hi, I'm Kiara Aurelia. This is MJ Anthony and Kazai Curtis. We're all in hysteria on Peacock. We have so much fun. There is metal. There is 80s. There is music. There is funniness and bruce campbell and julie bowen who is mom modern family everything and anna camp from pitch perfect and millie shapiro from hereditary and you have to watch our show because you're gonna love it
I mean, that's pretty I good. And it, I agree with that 100%. I'd, I'd be like, what she said. So. Yeah. <laughs> you think you just all point at her in the corner and be like, just listen to her. 